Hey, what's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to pull specific columns from a specific worksheet. So let's get into it. Alright, so say you've got a file. Let's look for one here. Got this test folder. And let's say we want to pull data from this file here called cities. And we want to pull specific columns. We, want, we don't want all the data. We only want let's say we want this city column here um, this country column and this population column so let's say that's all we want to do all we want to see in uh, this other workbook so if I type in city country and population we're going to create a macro that's going to find those headers in this file and bring that data over into this file here so we can close out of that and we're going to call our sub pull columns and we'll declare our variables we've got um, let's count so our headers we're going to count the headers here we're going to make that dynamic so we'll do head count as an integer and then we're also going to have to count the rows and the columns in the other file so we're going to have a row count and a column count both as integers we're also going to have a variable I as an integer a variable J as an integer because we're going to use a for loop and a do while loop I think and then we'll declare this worksheet here so this worksheet so WS as worksheet and then we'll set WS as this workbook and then sheets this is sheet one so put that there so now we got that set uh, now let's go ahead and count the headers and in order to do that we'll say head count is equal to worksheet function count the and we're going to start from A1. So we're going to start from this cell here. And we're going to do range. And then A1 again. And then end. And we're counting the columns, right? So we're going to be counting to the right. So XL to right. All right. And then when we get this count we're going to need to open up our worksheet so let's put a comment here so count headers in this workbook and then here we're going to open other workbook and count rows and columns so we'll do workbooks open and we're gonna have to pick our file name right so what we can do is we can right click here copy addresses text and then put in file name colon equal sign uh, quotation and we'll paste that in here and then the name of the file was cities and it's an XLSX file and then when we open it it will become the active workbook so we'll say active workbook and then sheets there's only one sheet in this file I believe So we can just go with the name, or we can just say one, just the number one, and we'll activate that sheet. And then we'll do our row count. And we can just take this here. Oops. Paste it, and we're going to change this. Because we're counting the rows, we're going to be going down. So it's XL down and then we want our column count and that'll be the same as our head count we'll be counting to the right 
So now, what we do now is we're going to create a for loop. So for i, for i equals one to head count. So one in this case, head count equals three. So one, two, three. We're going to go through this loop three times. Next i. And what we're going to do now is set our variable j equal to one. And then, so we're going to do have a do while loop. So do while j is less than or equal to the column count in the other file. And we're going to loop. So while j is less than the column count, so let's kind of work through this, right? So let me open up that other file. Um, all right. So the column count in this case would be one second. All right, so the column count here would be 11. So and for this loop here, while j, so j is equal to one, and then while it's less than or equal to 11, it's going to move to the to the right here. And when it finds the name that's in the current cell, we want it to grab that column and paste it. So we're going to be doing that here. So if a worksheet, which we declared up here, so WS, this worksheet, cells, and we want one for the row and then I for the column. If that equals the active sheet, which is the, the sheet that we opened up, and that's going to be one for the row and then J for the column and the text in that cell. If that cell equals the text in the other cell, then let's end our if. So then active sheet range and then our cells are going to be 1j so say we let's see sorry about that we've got it's not really trying to work for me today all right so say we've got city we find it here um, what we want to do now is get the range so we're going to get the bottom so the top of the range to the bottom so that's going to be the first row 1j and then the cells are going to be row count j so we want the bottom of that range so we're going to get the entire row and that's why we use our row count up here all right so now what we want to do now is copy all right so i'm missing something yeah i need to close parentheses right there all right so we're good so we're going to copy that and then with our current workbook worksheet cells one and then I we're going to paste let's uh, paste special and then we'll just paste the values and then we'll turn off cut part um, we will turn off the cut copy paste mode there, cup copy mode. Make that false. And then say we we find our matching column early. We don't want to go through the entire all eleven columns. So we'll just go ahead and set J equal to column count at that point, just so we can break this loop and we don't waste time. So we'll just set J equal to column count and then that'll exit the loop and then it'll go to the next I. So move to the next row or next column. And then that's how it'll work. Uh, and we can't forget. So for a for a for loop, next i at the bottom of the loop takes you to the next i. But for this do while loop, you'll get caught in an infinite loop unless you iterate the variable. So we need to do a j equals j plus one right here. So now we'll, the j's will increase in value. All right. So 
let's see how this works. Go ahead and run it. So open up that file, and you see we've got our data here. All right, so it's a little sloppy right now, right? So what we're gonna do is close this active workbook, and then we're not gonna save any changes. And then you see how this uh, column's highlighted? Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oops, move this to here. So we'll do WS cells one one. We'll just select the first cell in the sheet, and then in order to get rid of all that noise, we'll do application screen updating. We'll set that equal to false, and then we'll turn it back on at the at the end. So application screen updating equals true here. All right. So let's run it again. Okay, I messed up changes. Oops. All right, let's try it now. Boom. That's a lot cleaner, right? So you can change the order of this if you want. Population, city, see what happens. Run it. And then we can add more stuff. So let's do Let's go ahead and grab um, this ISO 2. Let's get this capital. And let's put country back here. And we'll switch city and population. So run it again. And you see how it works, pulling specific columns. Really cool stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.